And I'm not saying for us to jump to conclusions. But finally, but I am saying this. We will do more than just come together and worship. Worship is a part of it. But this starts something for us. Yeah, some of these pastors around here don't want to do nothing. They ain't, they ain't got time. They said they worry about what's going on in their city and they ain't got time for it in the city. They ain't got time. Then we're going to find some folk that's doing something. And we're going to partner with them. That we can make a difference. And if we can't make a difference in Trayvon, well, we can't make a difference in Trayvon Martin life anymore because he's gone. But we can make a difference. Listen to me. In some youth, male or female, Amen? Amen. Make a difference in somebody's life. You'll be hearing more about what we're going to do. Trying to put together a march that we can march. And while we're marching, make a difference to somebody. Listen, Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, Folk that gone before us, they marched. The church came together. How come we can't ever come together? We got too much. We got too much too fast. You know, when it was, we got a black president that they're crucifying. Now let me tell you what some of us are doing. We join in the crucifixion. That's right. That's right. Now I ain't for what's wrong, but he ain't done nothing wrong. He's still trying to dig out a mess from eight years. In four years. And yet I hear people say, us, not them, us. I ain't voting for him. I ain't even voting. If you don't get out and vote, it's a vote for them. I'd rather have our color in here. At least I know we close. And finally, let me say this. And finally, I mean finally. You know when preachers say finally, that's 10 more minutes. But no, this is final. <laughs> Just because we have an Afro-American president don't mean he can solve every Afro-American problem. We need to do something. We need to do something. How come we don't have an after-school program for the kids? Amen. How come we don't have a movie night for the kids? How come we don't have a functioning youth, youth Bible study for the kids? How come we don't do more for our youth? Don't blame nobody else. How come we can't? You know, when I was growing up, folk used to pick us up in cars because we didn't have a van. They used to pick us up in their cars, bring us to this very church. I remember Aretha Irvin, we used to rehearse for plays every Saturday. Mother Strutters. Yeah. And people make sure we got here. Yeah. Now, we leave our kids home. Church is an option. Church wasn't an option when I was not, not when I was when I was 18. It was an option, but 17 down, it wasn't an option. But you know what happens? Soon as something happens, y'all bring them right to the church. You want a letter. You want community service. You want you want me to lie and say they was here 40 hours. They weren't even here on a Sunday morning for two hours. You want me to write a letter for scholarships. We can do better, church. Some of you who got folk at home, bring them to church. I don't want to join that church. That's our day. Got to join. Bring them. And if some of them join, fine. And if they don't, but at least they in church. They gonna act up when they hear. That's all right. That's right. Let them act up in church. Anybody here remember all your mother had to do was look at you? Anybody? Anybody? Or your father just look at you? Now these kids, you look at them, they look back at you. And you're like, what you looking at? Yeah, try it. Let the church say amen. Come on, say rest in peace. Trayvon Martin.
hope I've been a blessing to you as you have been a blessing to me. Come on. I hope I challenge you. But let's do better. Let's do better, church. Come on, let's rest on our feet. We don't want to assume that everybody belongs to a church or everybody saved. We're going to open the doors of the church tonight. Thank you so much for coming out tonight. What a great wild service. You all came out tonight. I appreciate it. Thank you for those who will be in. We'll be back next month. And if they haven't straightened this stuff out with Trayvon Martin, we're going to wear our hoodies again. Amen? Amen. We're going to open the doors of the church. Maybe there's somebody moving out of the dark and saying, Why don't you come get your hands to the priest? Open your heart to the Lord. It's as easy as A, B, C, and many believe me to be confessing. Every bird has a nest, every airplane has a hand, and every child of God should have a church home. You can come and attend the baptism, you can come and the Christian experience, you can come to be reinstated. The doors of the church are open, my brothers and my sisters. The invitation has been extended. You can have it and let them hear. Come on, let's put our blessed hands together.